I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today with us in the hot seat we have Pratul. Now, Pratul, he asks, when pursuing your task or goal, how do we tackle the FOMO or the fear of missing out on other fun social activities? It does lead to draining of our energy and especially knowing the sacrifice of not having fun. Now, Pratul, this is such an important question because this is something that I have also been seeing a lot of people get affected by. Now, the FOMO aspect is divided into two parts. The first kind of FOMO that we feel is the kind of FOMO that we see from the social media that surrounds us. Now, if only you knew the kind of preparation that went into creating that perfect post to make you feel FOMO, you would not feel it anymore. You have no idea just how fake the posts that you see, the posts that you love, the videos that you watch are. You know, so many times when you are going with travel bloggers, you are only seeing one aspect of what the travel blogger is showing you. You are not seeing the other side of the camera where there is garbage on the floor, where people are having a fight, where this is happening. It is so hectic. You are only seeing one aspect that is causing this fear of missing out, which is causing this, I also wish I could be there. Okay, so if this is the kind of FOMO that you're feeling, know that most of it is a lie. Know that if you were in that same situation, you possibly would not be enjoying it as much as you see on that social media feed. But the second aspect of it is when your friends are doing things and you wish you were with your friends or you wish you were with the, you know, the fun gang that was there. But instead, you are at home sleeping early because you know that you have to wake up early in order to work on your side project, in order to work on your body, in order to work on your mental peace, in order to work on your health. Now, if you know the reason why you are focusing on that task or goal, if you know and have a strong enough reason for that goal or task to exist, that means it's going to make a dramatic change in your life by doing it. Then what you have to do is every time that FOMO comes in or creeps in, you have to say, this is why I'm doing it. I am doing it so that I can feel great about myself. I am staying home and studying so that I can earn 10 times what I'm earning right now. And very soon, you will realize that you overtake everybody else in the way that they are growing. Your priorities are what are pushing you forward and your priorities are what are defining your life. Many times, the people that you are feeling for more of do not have the same priorities as you. Their priorities are maybe fun and partying. That is what is missing. You know, I was talking to an entrepreneur the other day and he was saying something very interesting. We were discussing what he would do if he was back to being 24 years old. And he said that I would not waste my Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays partying. I would not waste my Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays out with people. Instead, I would be focusing on what is really important to me, creating either deep connections with my family or working on my business or working on my side project. He said that as a regret. Now, you are lucky enough to be able to, to not have those regrets in your life because you can choose. So FOMO is only if you feel that you're missing out on something. What you have to do is you have to change your mindset and realize that you're not missing out on something. You're in fact creating something for the future. And in fact, Monday's episode talks about this. We talk about how you have to pull back in order to shoot forwards. So listen to Monday's episode because that will add context to this entire conversation as well. So FOMO comes in two ways. The stuff that we see on social media, completely fake. And the stuff that happens with our friends and our loved ones, that FOMO is stuff that we have to understand is a difference in priority. Your priority is different. Their priority is different. It is perfectly fine to have that kind of FOMO. All right. Now, if you want your question to be answered, check out the link below, click on it and send me a nice big question so I can answer it for you. I'm Ashtin Doctor, your habit coach. And remember, awesome lives, they start with awesome habits. Usually in a podcast, it's me who speaks to you and you who listens. But I've been seeing your comments and it's time. It's me listening to you. Following the overwhelming success of this podcast, the good folks at IVM Podcast Network have decided to come up with a Kannada adaptation of the show for those who prefer listening to it in that language. 
do make sure you let your Kannada speaking friends know about this as well. Now if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am at Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. We have a brand new habit coaching online course, quizzes, videos and a lot more on the website awesome180.com. So check it out now. Hello everybody, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On the Habit Coach Communication Consultant, Cass Thomas tells Ashton why communication always needs to start with us. Misconduct is back with Season 3. Raghvi and Nisha tell us the real-life story of Gangu by Kathiawadi. On Audio Gyan, Kedar asks architect Fernando Velo about the future of maps in the digital era. On Nan Kari, Sadaf and Archib break down the history of India's most important ingredient, milk. And on Marathi Kirkitun, the Deshmukhs talk about Ravi Kiran Mandal and his contribution towards Marathi poetry. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, we've been doing a series of profiles of people within the office, so do check that out for sure. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platforms you're listening on. And you can also check us out on YouTube. We have a page on our website, ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube with a list of all our channels. We're also doing a small listener survey to better understand how you, the listener, responds to the advertising on our network. And also, we just want to know a little bit more about you. We would really appreciate it if you could spare a few minutes to fill it out. It will really help us build some better shows for you. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors on the network this week, SBI Life Insurance and Jupiter, a digital banking app. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us. And you know what? We're going to do a few prizes. So, I mean, like, we'll do a random drawing of, like, maybe 10 people and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com slash survey where you can fill out the survey.